Hey, down here. <clears throat> okay, I've got. This is going to be too hot. Okay, I've got the. Uh, <clears throat> well, I need that back on. I'm going to turn down the uh, master output some more on the uh, VM. It's definitely a way hotter one, and but it's way more sensitive. Okay, check. One, two. I've got a cough drop in my mouth. Smacking. Check one, two. Check, check. Hello, check, check. Hey, check here. Hey, Don here. Check one, two. Check. Check one, two. Check. Check one, two. Boy, that's hot. Check, check one two check, check, check one two check. Hey, down here. Hey, down here. Hey, down here. Hey, hey, down here. Check one two, check. Hey, <clears throat> check one two check check. Hey, 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 down here. Hey, down here. Hey, down here. Check. Hello, hey, check check one two check, check one two check. Hello, check one, two, check. Hey, Don here? Yeah. Okay, let's see if that records any good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that way, if I just use the main output on the uh, V amp, then I don't mess up my gain structure on my mixer to, to the V amp. Uh, where, you know, the settings in the compressor were too much when I uh, backed off on the channel. So I go back. I know where I always go to on the on the mixer. Once you get something set up, you can usually do that if you got a good mixer and it's you know it's not it's acting right and it, it's getting the same. Of course, if you change cables or do any kind of thing, then it might it may change stuff. But yeah, I was able to uh, just unplug and it always moves to the, that one. But it is using this one, it, the one that's got the radio button selected. And uh, it's just called Audio Adapter. It's the same thing. It looks the same. I think it may have the same chip in it. It might be a little bit different. But it says uh, Audio Adapter. It says Disable, and it threw me off a while ago. That this is when it says Disable, it actually means Disabled on the output. <laughs> this is the one that's doing the output. The... Uh, the one built into my video card. <clears throat> it's an eight gigabyte video card with HDMI uh, output. You know, it sends audio and video. And uh, but it did not change my input signal to stereo. It says it's stereo, uh, analog stereo output plus multi-channel input. And that's uh, the multi-channel inputs what uh, would be giving me my stereo. You could just switch and only use the input, but it doesn't matter. I'm trying to. I'm trying to try it again on this one though. Check one two. Check one two. Didn't really seem to do anything. I suppose if I was listening, I would probably lose the. Let's see if I can. Oh, I'm listening on the other one, so it should still work. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it's not working because I turned it off. Check. No, didn't do anything. <clears throat> yeah, because it's going out the other, other one. But that's. It's just getting a mono signal. I'm afraid. Well, I was afraid that it was, you know, the connector on the VM. And then I thought, what if the mixer's actually the problem and it's, you know, not sending out stereo and you it mix something wrong with the hardware and, you know, the electronics. But uh, it sounds like, my, when I plug the headphones in, actually I plug the headphones into the VM, it sounds stereo. So I don't, and so, you know, it would lead you back to the cables, but... 
Well, it could be the. I did. Well, I went. Oh, I did figure out one thing a while ago. Oh, I forgot to mention it in the other video. <clears throat> I, my cables. I, ha I have a uh, pretty long. Uh, well, it's. Uh, let me go ahead and get everything back together, and I'll show it on camera. Analog stereo output, multi-channel input, check one, two. Uh-oh. Looks like I might have killed the recording. I do not see a signal there. Oh, it's weak. I thought I looked at that. Oh, I looked. I only looked in uh, OBS. Close that. Check one, two. Well, with this one, it may be okay. It looks so weak, it looks like you won't be able to hear it. But it's pretty strong in, in OBS. I think the other one is the better, the better sound card than it. I forgot to look at it a while ago when I was setting it up. That's what happened last time. No matter how, I see it's not up to where I usually have it, but I'm not going to change it now. I'll just listen back to it and see. I usually put the the end edge of that right there on 100%. But that might be, it might have been that I was well that's on the other machine so you can't just go by that I mean it's kind of a good thing to remember I've noticed because uh, I have tried it on uh, a couple other machines uh, as long as you as long as you're in Fedora Linux in different versions it's still the same all the way back to I don't know about 14 I can't remember I, I didn't I don't think I ever did OBS on 14 but back to 24 23. This is 32, <coughs> but anyway, that always goes under that. That's the in the the sound card on the uh, the uh, USB. It'd be a USB sound card on the camera, but I'm not using it. I don't have any. Well, I do have a mic plugged into it. It could it would work if it was selected, but it'd be terrible sound. Well, not terrible because I got the mic plugged in, but it wouldn't be good. I'm about two feet from it, so it wouldn't be very couldn't hear it good. But anyway, <coughs> yeah, if I make a loud noise, it shows up, but that's out output, input, well, we'll see how it records. It may be, you can't, you can't trust this one very uh, well. I think a lot of what it shows has got to do with the hardware it's looking at, evidently, because it certainly acts way different than the other one did. But the other one, the SM58 just sounded weird, like something was off. It was, it's normally warm, and if I get close, it'll get really low, you know, the proximity effect, and it wasn't really doing that. I th and so I, th well, I think it's, the VMP is a stereo effects unit. And I think that, you know, well, I know I'm only getting the right side, so I think a lot of the good sound is on the left side. The compressor and the noise gate are working. But I think maybe it, what it does is it mixes, they call it the wet and the dry signal. I think maybe that's what it's doing is mixing. I don't remember. I've read, re you know, I used to n remember more about it, how it worked, but I, th I think maybe the right side is more of the dry signal without the effects in the, Without the, the the effect that makes it sound warm and extra warm and nice is the, well there's I think there's some EQ what it is is a tube preamp that's what I'm using and um, compressor and then the rest of them the noise gate and the uh, reverb which is really not a reverb it's supposed to be an anti reverb just not have you know be a reverb it's better for talking. Um, it, I think you don't even see it on the front. I'm looking at the front, the knobs on the front. Oh yeah, I was going to show something. Just make sure everything looks like it's actually working. I could be talking for nothing here. Okay. Um, yeah. I need to just quit. I, I just hate getting into something and having it not work. You know, when something like this not working, and then half the time I'll forget, or at least forget the details, even if I remember it didn't work last time. And then I don't know where to start. 
That's one. That's why I'm going to make the videos before I quit. Told myself not to stay up late all night. Or I stayed up all night. It's four or five in the morning, and I'm not even making video. Well, I'm making videos, but I'm not making the videos I set out to make. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, I hate when that kind of stuff happens. why you need dependable sound equipment when you're going to do live shows. I always carried some, I mean, I've had plenty of troubles, but <clears throat> usually it was a cable. We used Mackie mixers and crown amps, mostly in DBX fix uh, units. And I, anyway, I could go on about all that forever. My nose. Okay. Um, so yeah, the master, the main effects. There's two, there's a volume for all the, all the effect that you have that you're using the overall volume, but then there's a master output, and that's the one I've been turning, you know, adjusting. These are the. Uh, line out. That's what's going over there. And, you know, I, I did get to thinking, okay, what if I've got a cable problem, you know? I, well, I went over there and earlier when I was using the other card, another USB sound card, and I saw that I had actually swapped. I had to, <coughs> the, uh, the this is RCA to RCA, and it also has a S-Video. It, it, it's a good cable. I have been, I've used it, uh, I was using it for an output cable before uh, to go over to my, Patch bay, but uh, now that that was before I got the uh, um, anyway, I don't remember because I, I remember I, yeah I didn't if I didn't have uh, maybe I wasn't using it for an output maybe I was using it for an input uh, or going to or something but anyway uh, I remember using it for something and it was working recently. I took it from where I had it running out of the closet. It was, uh, oh, it was to send, uh, no, because I'm sending my sound out over the HDMI cable. Only thing I guess it what I was doing with it was sending sound in, but I had it over there, and I don't know why I would do that now, but because uh, <coughs> this is where my mixer and everything is. So anyway, that cable's okay. And I, I have used the other, uh, so I had to use another, this is RCA, RCA on both ends, I had to use another RCA to uh, 3.5 millimeter to get into that little sound card. And uh, I had plugged them backwards, I'd had white to red, you know, and, and so I swapped them, and, but it didn't help it any. I thought, well, maybe that's causing it to, uh, you know, uh, causing trouble inside the VMP or something. I mean, it, I didn't have any, I didn't have any magic smoke or any smells. So well, it wouldn't do that. Uh, well, at least not on something like this. <coughs> but uh, just swap it. I mean, just it would. The only thing it would do, what it would do, really, is it might cause phase canceling and it might cu cut out one of the channels. That's exactly what it would do. Uh, but it didn't help when I swapped it, and I did shut down and turn the VM back on and off twice. Well, I just, un you just, I. They don't have switches on them. You just unplug them and plug them in. And uh, I just, they're both plugged into a three way, and then I plug it into my power strip over there. So I did, I've done that two or three times, and I, nothing, that hasn't helped any. And I did it at least once after I swapped that cable. Now I'm on a different sound card altogether, so that should have, you know, any bad effects of that. I, like I said, I said before, just, you know, wiggling the cable. It might make noise, but I have not seen it. A while back, I saw it bring, you know, the stereo signal come and go by doing that. You can, I think, you can even unplug it without really making a lot of noise. Or I did with that other sound card. I won't do it again. It does move. You can kind of see that if I get that out of the way. See, that can move way more than you would want it to, but it doesn't matter. It's not helping or hurting. You know. Moves a little bit sideways, but mostly just up and down. And you can see that's not a 
they really kind of designed this thing to be laying on its back so you know you're not too you wouldn't uh, be hanging out as far out into the I don't have enough space uh, and I, I couldn't see it laying down to, to look to know where it was in or, or to change the different effects or whatever and so I, I've been st leaving it standing up for years now I could be just sitting there making noise but uh, <clears throat> I guess I moved away from the mic more. It's it's not as loud as it was. It doesn't look like when I was doing my test. Could be that I changed it by moving that cable. But see, it doesn't lose it. It it doesn't. Uh, it's not acting like a bad cable at all. And this, and this uh, our di earlier on, I swapped out cables and uh, it started working, and then it quit working. This is the one coming from the mixer to the VM. Um, and I, that's what I swapped out. I didn't swap out the one going from the, assuming that it's okay. Could be a bad idea still. I mean, I, I, it was working just fine, but sometimes they fool you. They put them in a different situation and they act up, you know. But this is what I always suspect because it's loose. But yeah. Anyway, I looked in there with my endoscope, with the light has light on it, and couldn't see very good. But I, you know, I didn't see anything. I looked like I saw two. There should be two places. Uh, well, there's the barrel which touches the ground, and then the tip and the ring. And it looked like I saw two uh, contacts, and I could see better into the, this one here. That's the uh, Airphone, and uh, it was good. And I did keep thinking about what if it's corroded. That's one where you can sit there and probably I'm making noise now. I don't want to do it with it on, but uh, um, I have. Seems like one of. It just now hit me a long while back. It, it, every once in a while, it would act up like this, and I just thought it was this loose connector or a bad cable. And I would just get it in the right spot, and it would stay fine for a long time. But it could be corrosion in there, especially with it loose. You know, it's not getting a real tight connection. But I should be able to. Normally, you can. I'm twisting it because that that'll clean them half a lot of times. But I got some real good cleaner, but I don't really want to spray it up in there with it's, it's flammable. I don't want to spray it up in there with it on. Guess I'll do that before I go to bed. But uh, I think I'll go over there and mess with the other end of the cable again. I don't think I want to. Well, I need to compare them. I'll just leave it as it is, I guess, until t tomorrow. I just need to quit. This is ridiculous. I did not think I was going to have any trouble. I thought I could quit whenever I wanted.
I can mention it in just a second. Because uh, before the right was the only thing open, I had a squat to do. So now I turn back to the normal right hand and do it. So when I have a squat, still have to use the one that I want to get. Okay, I have a brand new cable. It's not insulated in any way, but it's the same kind of cable as the Ada 3.5 millimeter one. And it does work because I tested it. Let's see if that brings it back. <coughs> I don't think I have any more of those pre-made if you want. 